On this video, we will talk about how to do a query loop on Oxygen Builder 6, and we will not work more uh, with repeater element like we did on uh, Oxygen Classic. Instead, that we have this element called Post Loop Builder. We also have a repeater field, but this is not for the same that we are used to use on Oxygen Classic. This is for link with ACF uh, repeater field, but we will cover that on another video. Today we will talk about post loop builder and how to work. Remember, if you want to receive on your email uh, the, not, this notification about when uh, launch, I launch uh, a new video, uh, go to OWP dot com and receive the I don't miss any tutorial from this channel so let's start it uh, 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 talking about a uh, query loop and how to do that so uh, the first thing that we need to know is uh, how to what is the flow on oxygen builder 6 to do these uh, repeaters to do these query loops and um, build dynamic data on oxygen builder so the the main thing that you need to to have in your mind is that you will need build a component first uh, to to after call on your loop builder so let's start it now we i i start to build a, a post loop on oxygen builder 6 so let's do for example a, a heading and uh, i don't know a uh, last yes this will be a loop of a, a common loop from our block you know so um on the next video we talk we we call we call use a, a acf and and start to to build with custom post type but in this case we will do uh, easy to 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 go faster so um we have this element post loop builder that i i have inserted so let's uh, let's know how to work the first thing that you need to go is to repeated block here you you could uh, select a component like i said uh, before you need select a component from your library of component to uh, start to use this uh, this element dynamically so i'm gonna save that and i'm gonna back to component tab here on oxygen and component if you don't know how to use component you could check my last video uh, uh, talking about a component go to component i i gonna add a new component i i'll name this a like a post car for example okay so uh, we have this uh, postcard created i'm gonna edit this one and i'll start to uh, to do this component this car for the post so the first thing that i will do is for example do a container uh, put i don't know uh, this will be with the tag um uh, add if it's okay and put i don't know contain no container not uh, i will put a post car okay so this will have for example a background i'm gonna use a variables that i i done before i'll put uh, this i don't know uh, color primary and i gonna put for example a heading here with a uh, i don't know an h3 and i'm gonna put a, on this title i will put a dynamic data i could put my post but uh, this is not the idea i need put dynamic data to uh, do dynamic that so i will put that and i put um, the post title here okay post title i will change the the, the um, class and apply some styles 
on the typography with variables. These variables we have all from the last video. So I change here, color right, red color. Okay, this is not changing. So I don't know why not, but anyway, let me put FFF. Okay, for now it's not changing. So maybe on the front end works better, but I don't know, this is better should be work so uh, this is the post title i gonna put uh, another field called with text and i will put here and i will put dynamic data from i don't know a uh, post experiment we could use to uh, acf um, fields but we will use excerpt uh, so it's so I'm gonna put the um, post car served. Okay, put also a LA color, and I will put the font will be uh, this one. And let me check. Let me change the font to and it's okay. So I'm gonna put a button, a link with. Uh, let me go back. This one text link. And I will put post car uh, link uh, link yes I will put link and I will put uh, this color and I will put this font and maybe with bold and I will put these variables for uh, body okay no I hate this that I will put font size body okay it's okay so I'm gonna put um, a little of a spacing here. From there I'm gonna put sorry spacing I will add uh, padding space s space uh, s space s and maybe space l here oh sorry so oh shit uh, sorry one click I'm gonna remove that m m2 to the top and M to the bottom. So, and a little of a spacing. I'm gonna put flex, a column, and a little of a gap, a space. Yes. We are using a variables from the other videos. So, we have this now, and we need to put a, this is dynamically, and I will put this link like dynamic with um, this this icon clicking and put permalink post permalink yes post permalink so we have now this one and i gonna reload this uh, this page to call the component that we create so let's go there and I will choose. Sorry, I choose a primary data. We need to choose post card. And after choose this post card, we have now this post that I've created um, before with this plugin dummy content generator. We have this post. Okay. So we have now this uh, post created, and we we will start to to build our loop. So the loop it's done, but we could do uh, some stuff mass uh, more. Sorry. Um, for example, we have some different tags to to put on our loop. For example, this should be our title, okay? To our post, we call a uh, change uh, these advanced options that we will not uh, use on this on this post on this tutorial for not do very longer. So uh, we, call, we can change our query with custom text or uh, with array. I will use custom right now and I will choose a post type post in this case. Okay, post uh, post per page is eight, uh, condition no, and uh, meta query no, and it's okay right now by default. So let's uh, go to pagina pagination and uh, change for example with uh, numbers by default but we have uh, another options and 
in this case we don't have more than eight posts so will not show and we have another tab called filter bar so these options we could we could do on another video but this option like fil uh, call it filter bar it's very nice because we have a, a filter uh, that oxygen give us uh, and we can we can change something on on the design and filter by different taxonomies and it's really nice and change the order so uh, let's go back for a moment and I'm gonna do to edit the styles from this tab and I'm gonna change for example the layout from this tab we can change the the styles from the container of this loop for, for the loop so I'm gonna put this with like 100% uh, and change the layout to for example a grid and I'm gonna do a grid for with three columns and a uh, one item at a uh, font landscape this uh, means that from the this landscape will will show one e one car okay of the component instead three because three will show bad so on tablet i will use a uh, two for example or no one directly one to do that i'm gonna go back from here and from the tablet landscape and I'm gonna change the space between from that I put 20 I don't know and let's save I'm gonna check from the tab and I'm gonna put this in order and try to, to style that okay guys I I found the problem with the heading uh, here it was an element from uh, breakdance uh, for oxygen uh, I don't know why it changed or, or put global styles and you cannot uh, edit it well for now because it's a beta so I deactivated this element and I will um, do again this uh, part of the of the component to, to works better so uh, put again the HTM the text put the heading h3 and I wanna put the class again change the typography save and I'm gonna reload again to, to check if it works and this delighted and put the dynamic content with post title so if you if happen to you this again so you need you need remove this uh, extension so it's okay now this is the post title the excerpt and the um, the link I'm gonna change that with a uh, URL sorry URL a uh, post permalink and this text will see view more and uh, we have now the loop created and if we click here we go to the url from the single post but we need to do to start to build the template you know so so once i uh, fixed this problem uh, about the heading of the car we will check uh, more about uh, the the query loop and uh, we have a we can style the post container on here it's this part we call it also our our car and remove the the, the padding but it's not uh, for now we will not touch anything uh, we can put also zero to not use this container and it looks better and change the container background for example i don't know i'm gonna put maybe a barbell to have the same content uh, we can't use variable here this is not very well uh, and we can uh, change the style of pagina of pagination uh, with this, this element for example text center and um, uh, different things like active element for now this is not uh, with variable so it's it's bad that <laughs> for now but okay 
this is better you know uh, so we can change uh, different styles here like spacing of margin top uh, we have uh, different options but the main thing that you need to know is how to work the repeater the query pagination and filter bar or on, on other tutorials so um, this is how to work let me know if you want to uh, know uh, how to do or with cpt or how to do a single single template for for a, a post type uh, or a single post or a page or i don't know you know services page product page so anything let me know uh, subscribe please uh, help me a lot to 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 more people know this channel if it works for you give me a comment or um, suggest any topic to to discover on this channel so thank you very much bye bye